Designing for a brand day to day looks like um, BOM updates, making sure uh, trim colors, trim qualities um, are correct and what you would like for a specific style. It looks like um, selecting colors and kind of working with this like puzzle that is uh, our like color assortment for our seasonal narrative you know maybe you don't want this particular like jogger or pant in this bright white color or this like um neon yellow color like maybe that won't sell as well it looks like sketches <laughs> it looks like lots of sketch updates in adobe illustrator um it looks like a lot of research online and in different stores about what's on the market, what the competitors um, are offering, uh, what's on the runway, what are the new trends for a season. Um, it looks like fittings, um, attending, you know, at least now virtual fittings uh, with fit models and sending samples back and forth to your counterparts and reviewing and making comments. Um, Day to day, I mean, as a designer, there are so many different work streams um, that honestly it's hard to keep up with, um, especially for me, I, I help to manage three different categories. So um, day to day looks like just being in the weeds of every little detail of every style that you're managing. pretty much knew that I wanted to work in fashion in high school when I first learned how to sew. Um, I just fell in love with the uh, tactile nature of, uh, I guess, the hand of fabrics, uh, just the idea of um, putting pattern pieces together and seeing my sketches come to life. I just thought that was really cool. I had always been um, an artist since I was a little girl, and that's the medium through which I began to express my art in high school. So high school is when I, I knew I wanted to be a fashion designer. <laughs> so my first job in fashion uh, was at this store called um, Downtown Locker Room, and it was, um, and it still is, this uh, urban streetwear brand uh, where they sell everything from Kuji 2008. It might have been like baby fat or like, I don't know, girl, but I loved it. That was my first retail experience. Uh, if we're talking about my first experience um, working like in the true fashion industry. Um, I interned for Tracy Reese in New York. Uh, I think that was going into my sophomore year of college. Um, and that just completely blew my mind. Uh, over the summer, I spent the summer in New York and I was able to um, just work under the um, Black female designer of the time that she was the only Black designer showing at New York Fashion Week. And I knew I had to get in. And um, I did everything from coffee runs to uh, sending samples to photo shoots and a uh, little minor uh, sewing edits for uh, New York Fashion Week, like behind the scenes, like it was just such a crazy, amazing, fun um, experience. So that was kind of my first, like getting my, my, my uh, foot in the door kind of experience. And being a person of color uh, throughout my career, I had 
so many, um, you know, whether it was internship experiences or otherwise, where I just always ended up being the only one, the only Black person, the only Black female in the room. Um, so I, early on in my career, I felt such a pressure to assimilate and to um, uh, kind of have a wall up. Things changed in 2020, um, but I wish I could go back and um, speak to my younger self, you know, in those earlier years and say, hey, it's okay to show up as yourself authentically. And if you aren't received well, when you show up authentically, you're in the wrong place. I'm Joelle and my fashion playbook pro tip is to curate your online brand. So that means make sure you have a website, make sure you have a uh, clear picture of the work that you do. Uh, make sure that you have a LinkedIn. Cannot express how important a LinkedIn is with a picture. <laughs> and a description of your career journey and your experience. Um, all of the opportunities that I've received have been through LinkedIn primarily. Um, yeah, my pro tip is just making sure that that online presence is just the full package. People just understand who you are, what you do, um, and you present yourself in a way that is professional and appealing and uh, just gives you or gives the viewer or um, the employer or the recruiter or the future colleague a, a, a good understanding of who you are, what you do and where you're going.